Hello folks, Samsung's GoodLock is a customization app designed to help Galaxy handset users redesign their home screens and lock screens, clock faces, recent apps layout, icons on the navigation bar, the quick settings panel and more. The app is available only from the Galaxy Store and according to a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, left by software engineer Adan, Samsung has created some new lock screen animation for the GoodLock app. The post, which includes a video of some of the new animation, is extremely critical of it and the Ice Universe piles on by complaining about Samsung animations in general. It reads, most of the options are just terrible, either badly implemented, laggy and choppy, or poor designs. They've also added other customizations, like new lock screen tones and animations. If Samsung plans to add these customizations to One UI 6, I hope it offers better designs and implements them properly. The opinion of Adan was seconded by Ice Universe, who added, these animations are in line with Samsung's usual style stuttering, jerky, lack of agility, linearity and lag. One UI 6.0 is the Samsung's interface that is based on Android 14. The first beta version was supposed to roll out for the Galaxy S23 flagship series last week, but was delayed due to some bugs that were discovered during testing. Although today the official website of Samsung Germany posted information about the start of the One UI 6 beta program, however, it was soon deleted. Most likely the guys were just in a hurry, but the program itself starts today or tomorrow. I think. Another interesting thing is the image that the company attached to the post. On it we see a new quick panel, a completely new design, which is not even quite comparable with One UI at first glance. Since the main feature is lost, the reach to the elements with one hand. So if this is not some kind of mistake, then we are waiting for a new user experience. Samsung usually pushes out the One UI interface to the current flagship line first and then starts to disseminate it to the previous year's flagship phones and the latest foldable models. This year Samsung is going to release the first beta version of One UI 6 to the mid-range Galaxy A34 and Galaxy A54 handsets just one week after seeding the Galaxy S23 series with the update. There is still time for Samsung to fix any animation that is not smooth before releasing the final version of One UI, which the Galaxy S23 line will get first sometime much later this year. Samsung has just confirmed the official names of its next big mid-range tablets. Yes, Samsung literally just took the wraps of its latest and seemingly greatest Android tablets last week, and here we are today, already discussing the company's next additions to the popular Galaxy Tab family. We're not talking about the undoubtedly distant Ultra High-End Tab S10 series, but rather two lower-end and lower-cost cousins of the hot new Tab S9, S9 Plus and S9 Ultra. Although we've known about the existence and relative imminence of the Galaxy Tab S9 FE and Tab S9 FE Plus for a few months now, Samsung is today making those two names officially official and thus etched in stone. Before you get Get too excited? No, the company hasn't scheduled any sort of formal event for the Galaxy Tab S9 FE and Tab S9 FE Plus launch or offered any details about their specifications, features, price points or release dates yet. Instead, the two aforementioned names are merely lumped in with several dozen existing Galaxy products on an otherwise standard-looking Bixby dedicated webpage in France, as noticed by German journalist and leaker Roland Quant. While we are fairly certain the inclusion of the two unreleased and unannounced devices on that list at this time is a mistake on Samsung's part, the actual product monikers are almost surely legit and the two products likely right around the corner. Several recent rumors have pointed in the direction of a September announcement for the Galaxy Tab S9 FE and Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus, possibly alongside the Galaxy S23 FE handset. And with their designs already leaked, the two jumbo-sized Android mid-rangers could pretty much see daylight at any time in the next few weeks. Visually similar to the rest of the Tab S9 family, these next-gen iPod and iPad AL tone are expected to pack Exynos 1380 processing power and up to a solid 8GB RAM among other respectable specs and features. Of course, their main selling point is likely to be the expansive screen real estate, with the Tab S9 FE tipped to sport a 10.9-inch display and the Tab S9 FE Plus reportedly going all the way up to 12.4 inches. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, good luck to all!